Crowd is into it. They're in on the corners. And look at Muzzin the tower of Bradfield. Well, he's had a start already in this College World Series. Went four and two-thirds against Texas. Four hits allowed. Walk two, struck out four, give up three earned. Enrique Bradfield Jr. leads things off, and the number is a pretty simple one. Uh, when he gets on, they're 45 and 13. They are four and three in games that he doesn't. Right down the middle, strike three. Good start for Harding, and listen to the place. And that's on the ground. James has it. He sets himself, and there are two down and only five pitches thrown. 2-2 two -two to Dominic Keegan. Got him swinging. Here we go. Christian Little on the mound. He is 17 years young. He came to Vanderbilt early as a 14-year-old commit. Jordan and Allen James had a home run last night. Hancock is a walk machine. Then there's Tanner DeBrule. Three and one, Jordan hits this one to center. And a good battle back by Little as Jordan retired. On the corner, Allen was ready to throw his bat away. Thought he walked, but he gets the benefit of the call on the breaking pitch. And strike out one for Little. He lands this right here. Corner, you see Rodriguez framing it. One and two, check swing to third. Jason Gonzalez across the diamond. Did he hold the? F no, he did not. Dominic Keegan's foot came off, and for the second start, Little hurt by his defense. He's off and running, and that ball is ripped into the corner. It will go. Thomas fields it. James is waved. He is in. It's one nothing state. A long single for Luke Hancock. And little four pitches and a walk rule. There they go. Here it comes, and he's gone. And little needed that badly. He's actually more comfortable facing right-handed hitters because he uses the changeup more. Tanner Allen right on the track. This ball is lifted to left with some carry on it. Cumbus is at the wall. It's gone. C.J. Rodriguez ties this game up. As he blasts his fifth of the year, and it's 1-1. And that's why I said earlier about the 1-0 count. Will he be able to be successful to land those pitches if it's a changeup or fastball? He has to be able to even up the count, because if not, he's forced to come in 2-0. And 2-0 with this Vandy lineup, they rarely miss. And C.J. Rodriguez did not miss. More than Mississippi State. And this one is to center and playable for Rowdy Jordan. New ball game though they, against Virginia, but that's he's got the ability to do that. That's ripped. Thomas looks up. Oh, off the top of the wall. He fires into second. Clark slides in. He's got himself a double, his seventh of the year, and he didn't miss a home run by much. Yeah, he puts on a show in batting practice, and it's really impressive. And he has to show some wheels right here to get the second from the sound of the bat when he barrels it like that. This one got there in a hurry. Gabe Bradfield. Instead, he goes to right, going back is Thomas, going back, and just in front of the wall makes the catch. And this one rolled over to second. And he cannot deliver that run from third. That's where the light went on. That's a little high, ball four for Harding. And with a changeup on the ground to third, James will go to second. That's where the force is, and the defense helps again. Challenged him with heat on the ground and a short hop, and it's another error. It's in the glove, and it got stuck in the webbing. So Carter Young, well, you can all see at home where it is. Not going here. Another one way off, and what now Allen goes, and he jump. stole the base. That is a heck of a secondary and a great read at first base. The only way that that happens if he's, if he, he's anticipating a ball in the dirt. He sees a trajectory coming down. And watch this. Takes a second there. As soon as that ball hits dirt. 3-2. Goes with a slider and he misses badly. And that's a walk. Two on. Nobody out. Loaded with nobody out for Mississippi State. Back-to-back -back walks. Couldn't locate. Ball four. It's 2-1. Three walks in a row. Allen touches home.
And you got to believe it's going to be Patrick Riley time now for Vanderbilt. Got on thanks to walks. This one back up the middle. And James in. Hancock is waved in. And a good piece of hitting and another top break for Vanderbilt. They add to the lead. 4-1 Mississippi State. DeBrule 5 for 8 with the bases loaded and 11 runs batted in. Scotty DeBrule feels comfortable. And I'll never remember more than this. He did swing at it, and Cumbus ended up getting hit by it, but the swing punches him out. And that thing was wicked on his hands. They look down to first. They get him in the shoulder? Foul ball. And a jam shot, slow roller. It is fade over there to third. Nice play by Carter Young. That time the ball popped out of the glove, and he had one option, and it was to run the option, and he flipped it. Looking for a ground ball, double play. Instead, it's another walk. Their fourth of the inning, and not close on the 3 2. That one gets away. Here comes the run from third, and De Bruyne is in. What a nightmare for Vanderbilt. C.J. Rodriguez does a lot of things right back there, but and when he goes down to one knee, this is what can get you. Watch the top half, and that just goes off the glove. That that one. And he gets Forsythe swinging. That one is back to Riley, and he will head over to first and flip underhand. And that was a long bottom half of the third inning. And, and this one is going to get down in front of Jordan. So a walk and now a hit by Colwick. And Vanderbilt's got two on. Nobody out here in the fourth. You know, I, I made my living hitting off left-handed pitching. And one thing, I used to always study the really good ones that had the fastball change. Of Second for one. And back to first. Safe is the call at first. Hancock fired it to Forsyth, who got a good throw back, but to call it first safe, so it'll be first and third with one out. Again, watch this play. Nice play at first base by Keegan. He throws it over. He should get back to the bag right here really quick. Instead, has to wait until he gets bag and back, and when he does, the throw from Forsyth. Chased one high, strike three for Harding, and that's a big one. Second out of the inning. You know what threw CJ off here? It was the curveball. Usually against right-handed hitters, you see the curveball early in the count. He throws it for strike two. Runner goes, swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Look at Harding pumping his fist and slapping his chest. Do that. There Runner goes. goes exactly the same play that he got the second the oh, first man. time, and now they throw it in the center field. Tanner Allen putting pressure on the defense, and Vanderbilt is making a mess of game two tonight. Get the leadoff runner on, and if it's Tanner Allen, the leader. He got crossed up. CJ Rodriguez on that one was getting to its knees to block it. Watch Rodriguez, ready to block it, then all of a sudden, whoa. That's walk number eight for Vanderbilt pitching tonight, taking advantage. Towards the line. Young is going over there, and right near the tart makes the play. No movement. 3-2. And to short could be two. Flip for one. Nolan bounces it safe. Good hustle from DeBrule. They get the run in. And a little slow again, Young getting that ball out of his glove. I mean, this is defense right here. This ball was hit hard enough. The defense is right there. Chase is there, 94 miles an hour from Berkwich. Exactly where they can see them and yell at them. Yeah, that didn't take long. Didn't take long for Preston Johnson to get two outs in this one. Gets a big leg fly ball to left off the bat of Isaiah Thomas. Now comes back in the slider. It's Jason Gonzalez. SEC freshman of the year. Rips one to right field. Going over is Allen still going back. Look out, he won't get it. That goes off the wall. And Bradfield is flying around the bases. He will get to third and oh yeah. 
took a while to get in here and he puts the brakes on there. Enrique Bradfield's fourth triple of the year. Got him and he slipped on the mound, but not after that. They will strand the runner at third. Berkowitz, give him credit. He's throwing strikes. Back to back strikeouts. Play ball was not, but still only gave up one when he came in. Slow roller and the throw across. Close play safe. I was wondering if Gonzalez was just going to see if that ball was going to go foul or not. Because with the speed of Forsyth right there. Allen, that's the professional hitter. He is. He sends that into left field on a one two pitch. That's Tanner Allen, second hit of the night. And he changes his approach with two strikes, allows the ball to get deep. He trusts his hands. He's not afraid. Times, error, walk, walk. And this one is up the middle and through. Lane Forsyth comes in and falling on his way to third base, but diving back is Allen. Possible game three showdown between that guy, Will Bednar on the left, and Kamal Rocker on the right. And that one's going to get through the other way. Luke Hancock delivers Tanner Allen, and they are playing station to station baseball. Cox been aboard four times. That's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Tanner is gone. Come on, now. Right there, you see him. There's Dak. Yeah, that like Not only do we have a souvenir, it's signed by Dak Prescott. That's a total win tonight. Second inning. He's not going to hit a home run there. Strikeout. The rule is gone. Cumbus, that's through Jeez. into right field. Welcome to the hit party, Brad Cumbus, his first of the night. That one is through. Another seeing eye single, a little harder hit. This time, Lane Forsyth. Three and two. That's called strike three. Jordan retired. That's a strike. I think I, which led to the steal, which led to the hit. And that leads to another strikeout for Johnson. Look out. Oh. Ouch. That one got him in a tough spot right in the back. Hmm. Well, that hurts. That one gets away. And every time it's gotten away from a catcher, Allen has moved to third. <laughs> As a lefty, I think it's more comfortable right now. He's going, and that's another stolen base for Allen. Yeah, that one, that one he just stole on Owen. Runner goes, he'll throw down, and that's off of the runner into left field. Hatcher now says, I'm going to third. He will. Allen scores, and they're having a good time tonight. Mississippi State. Adds another. Up the middle it goes. Another hit for DeBrule. And another run for State. That was pretty impressive right there because Owen had not really landed the curveball. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh boy. Clark has gone on strikes. That's ripped up the middle. That's going to bring in two more. And State's got an even dozen. But the only mystery left in this thing is can Rowdy Jordan get his first hit of the night? There you go. He can. Jordan played Skinner. Lucky 13 is State. 0-2. Oh, I'm not sure they see it out there. And now all of a sudden, who exit from gate one? I would describe it as massively quick. Johnson now into the 50s, but two in the job. That's fair, and it's down the line. And it goes all the way into the corner now, as it did not come off the wall as Vaz had perhaps anticipated. In the tailpipe. That's an easy play at third. You know, neutral site usually isn't that loud. You think about the home field. It's four different guys were on base four times, but this guy 
this guy gave you as good a chance to win tomorrow Absolutely. as anybody could. Yeah. This ball is oh. hammered to right for. You see the catcher come into the game and deliver. Yeah, and they're, they're high on this kid also. Maxwell Romero Jr. exit stage right. Welcome to the College World Series behind the plate for a couple innings. Chance for Cooper Davis first chance look out. He's going to no. take first base. They'll appeal. No. So Davis heads down to first base for baseball or no, for any sport. And this should do it on the ground. That will do it and a dominating performance for Mississippi State. They win it 13 2 and set up a game three for all the marbles in college baseball. Kyle Peterson, Eduardo Perez, Chris Button down on the field.